we're seeing very positive comments with the completed sections in the northwest and northeast uh, areas of town of moving people, people uh, who utilize that to get to other areas of the city. The Southwest Lake of the Ring Road would help with a few things. Uh, it would particularly help with traffic going to the mountains or going to the west uh, and linking into the highway system. But it would not help the vast majority of folks who are trying to get to downtown um, or further northwest. So for those people, we need different kinds of solutions. There's a lot of people in the southwest quadrant, quadrant of the city that need to get downtown, that need to get around the city. But I think we have to be realistic now in terms of where we are, in terms of community development and population, to see whether or not the original plan is still feasible. Well, we've got a number of options. Uh, one of the things that uh, looking at is what are the various routes associated with trying to make this connection between Highway 8 and 22X without going on Sutina lands. It's a very difficult uh, choice. Uh, there's a lot of options to look at. What we're doing is we're looking at uh, what are the options that give the best value with the least impact. All of the options that, we, that we're looking at impact communities, some more um, than others. We need to be able to listen to what people are concerned about and what their fears are and try to come to a constructive solution. Well, the challenge we have right now is that there are a number of options on the table and they are all bad. Um, and they're, strangely, the discussion paper that the province and the city put out, looking at which criteria we should uh, evaluate the options by, kind of was slanted towards one of the options, which was on the Weaselhead and 37th. But none of the criteria involved how much is that going to cost? And that is a tremendously expensive solution because we'd have to build a giant bridge or tunnel somehow through the weasel head. No one really knows what that's going to look like. And we would have to knock out a whole whack of homes in Lakeview and Glamorgan um, at enormous cost. So once you factor the cost in, you find that option, just the financial cost, setting aside the environmental cost, you find that that option four is, is just as bad as the rest, if not worse. So route number four um, comes right down 37th Street and through this uh, ecologically sensitive wetland. Um, the environmental costs are huge and the province does recognize that this uh, choice of route does have the biggest environmental impact. Our concern is that they're going to have to build a big turn, an interchange of some kind at Glenmore Trail and 37th, assuming that they come up 37th from the south. But if they do that, then the interchange is going to take a very large amount of land. You're talking about a high-speed expressway, 100, 110 kilometer an hour expressway. And that doesn't turn in a very sharp bend. And if you do all of that, our concern is that you'll have to expropriate a lot of properties, a lot of people are going to lose their homes, and it's going to be extremely expensive. When you look at the available space and then the amount of land it would take to build a safe interchange, you know that there are townhomes, seniors, residents, uh, apartment buildings, and homes, significant numbers of homes uh, that are threatened by this. We're not saying that we don't have real mobility issues and there aren't things that we need to do. We're just saying we don't need to do this. I wish it didn't have to uh, impact so many people so severely, but on the other hand, the impacts of not doing the project, you know, it causes a lot of inconvenience to people in the south. Well, 
people, you talk to the transportation engineers. This probably should have been the first segment of the ring road constructed just on the basis of need because Southwest Calgary has a severely challenged transportation system. You need these kind of expressways if you want to have a fully functioning road system. We've done a preliminary uh, evaluation uh, that we presented at our first round of open houses and that preliminary evaluation showed uh, that the route with the highest value so far is a, a 37th Street corridor. We've been asked to, to go back, look at uh, the 37th Street corridor, actually look at all of the corridors and, and provide more detail. Uh, what is the, uh, the level of impact uh, actually with property? We've, we've identified it by community, but what is the level of impact with property? Another thing that we've been asked to look at, what is the um, cost associated with the various options? We had um, over 3,000 people come out to our open houses. We've had over 1,700 evaluation forms and, and we we're working through trying to answer those questions. It's a lot of work to, to answer the questions, answer the level of concerns and provide that detail. You know, there are solutions out there and I hope that we do come up with a solution that involves the province, the Sutina and the city working together collaboratively. But I think that asking the question how to get the ring road built is the wrong question. The question we should be asking is how do we improve mobility in Southwest Calgary? How do we get the people of Southwest Calgary moving? And asking that question I think will lead to a whole bunch of different options instead of the tired old ones that are on the table now. It's important in terms of provincial transportation systems. Uh, we want to make sure that we can have north-south and east-west linkages for, uh, for truck transportation. We can't be building a provincial highway system uh, while ignoring the issues that are facing our community. We can't choose one over the other. Well, it's a, it's a concern and it's a big benefit as well. And, and what we're trying to do is balance out the concerns associated with placing this ring road because of the complexities and the levels of government that it has to go through, it will be a decade in the making. And that's a long time to come up with a better idea. Maybe we should stop saying it has to be a ring and think of it in terms of what it has to do in terms of transporting people and goods and traffic from one place to another. It's not a commuter solution, so why even consider it? We got to get the people out of that area and get them moving. I personally think it will be built, it has to be built, it's going to become more and more obvious as growth continues and the pressures on the Southwest Calgary road system, but it's not a given that it will be built because it's, it's going to require a tough political decision.